Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Brenda Worry here. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Well, happy Monday. Happy Monday. And I've got to ask you, did you guys take time out to study the Word? Did you guys take time out to study the Word? Remember, this is where we get our divine power. If you want instructions, we got to go to the Word. Got to go to the Word. And of course, we know that it's later than we think. We're running out of time. There's a crisis that's coming upon God's people, and we need to prepare so we can meet our maker in peace. Hey, Regina. Thank you so much for stopping by, my friend. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I hope everyone is well within your home. And of course, we know Jesus is a gentleman. He does not force his will on anyone. He allows us to make the choice of open our hearts and let him in. And he states, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that's John 3.16. Before we go into our topic today, need of the gospel, let us bow for prayer. Dear kind of gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day, Father. I continue to be with us as we study the need of the gospel. Father, I ask you at this moment that you will decrease me so that you will be increased, is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Okay, scripture reading is coming from Isaiah 59, Isaiah 59, and we're going to do uh, verse 1. Isaiah 59, 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ears heavy that it cannot hear. So whatever you're going through, my sister, my brother, whatever you need for the Lord to do, we just got to continue to ask him and praying like we have never done before. And not only for, for ourselves, but we need to be praying for our uh, people within the community, people within the family, and the nation as a whole, okay? So let us continue lifting up our prayers to the to the God. Because He is the only one that can answer. He is the only one that can deliver us from, one, from whatever issues or whatever trials or whatever um, temptations we are going through. So let's go into... Actually, part one. This is going to be part one, need of the gospel. He said, when Christ sent forth the disciples with the gospel message, faith in God and his word had well nigh departed from the world. Amongst the Jewish people who professes to have a knowledge of Jehovah, his word has been set aside for tradition and human speculation. Mm. Selfish ambition love of abstainous ostentation, greed of gain, absorb men's taught. As reverence for God departed, so also departed compassion towards men. Selfishness was the ruling principle, and Satan worked his will in the misery and the degradation of mankind. Satanic agencies took possessions of men, the bodies of human beings made for the dwelling place of God became the habitation of devils. The senses, the nervous, the nerves, the organs of men were worked by supernatural supernatural agency in the indulgence of the vilest lusts. The very stamps of demons was impressed upon the countenance of men. Human face reflected the expression of a legions of evil with which men were possessed. While in the condition, no, can, let me go back. What is the condition in the world today? Let me repeat that. What is the condition in the world today? Is not faith in the Bible and effectually destroying by the higher criticism and the speculation of today, and it was by tradition and rabbinicalism in the days of Christ, or we could say in the tradition and the belief in the days of Christ. Have not greed and ambition and love of pleasure as strong a hold on men's heart now as they had then? In the professedly Christian world, even in the professed churches of Christ, 
how few are governed by Christian principles in business, society, domestic, even religious circles, how few make the teachings of Christ the rules of living. I'm sorry. Let me go back. Let me go back. In business, society, domestic, even religious circles, how few makes the teaching of Christ the rule of daily living. It is not it is not true that justice stand afar off. Equality, equity cannot enter. It is not true that justice stand afar off. Equity cannot enter. And he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. He and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And you uh, can find this in Isaiah 59 verses uh, 14 to 13. I'm sorry, 14 through 15. Isaiah 59, 14 through 15. So that concludes part one. Tomorrow we're going into uh, part two of the need of the gospel. Don't we think, don't you think uh, that is perfect for today's time? What is the condition in the world today? What is the condition in the world today? So we go on tomorrow in the need of the gospel. And of course, I've got my hymn. It says, have thy own way, Lord. Isn't that what we want? We want him to have his own ways in our life. Because, I mean, if you think about what we think about or what we want, it's not very good. Some, most of the things that we want is not good for us, right? It says, have thy own way, Lord. Have thy own way. Thou art Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will. While I am waiting, healing, and still. Have thy own way, Lord, have thy own way. Search me and try me, master today. Whiter than snow, Lord, wash me just now. As in thy presence, humbly I bow. Have thy own way, Lord, have thy own way. Wounded and weary help me i pray power all power surely is thine touch me and heal me savior divine have thy own way lord have thy own way hold over my being absolute sway fill with thy spirit till till all shall see christ only always living in me that's what we want. We want Christ to be living in us. So when people see us, they will see that we have spent time with the Lord, that we are his, we are his children. So as Christian, we got to go back to the word, go back to the basic and find out what is God's requirement for us, especially as we're coming into the uh, final crisis of earth history. And we know the final battle is about worship. Who are you going to worship? Uh, men say to worship on Sunday, the first day of the week. God say, remember the Sabbath, the, fourth day, the, the seventh day, that's Saturday. Okay, so what are you going to do? If you are forced to, which day are you going to serve? Are you going to be faithful to God? Are we going to be faithful to God no matter what? So we got to make sure that we have Christ has has his way within our life. We want to be the living example. And how can we do that? We got to be doing it now, my sister, my brother. We can't do it when they go into, um, when we talk about climate change, because that's another word that they're using, climate change. And then because of climate change, we need all need to fall and just worship on Sunday. God, that's not the day that God gave us. God gave us Saturday. So we need to continue searching our Bibles and ask the Lord to humble us. Give us the power to do His will. Give us the power to live the life that He had called us to live. And what does He call us to live? He called us to, to live the life, be the example, and also for us to share with other people. But if we are living like the world, how can we call them out of something when we are living just like they are? Does that make sense, my sister, my brother? So we as Christians has to be so committed, so dedicated to the Lord that whatever he say, we can hear his voice. But if we can't hear his voice, if we are 
eating the wrong things. If we are continue eating flesh uh, uh, foods, if we are continuing violating his law, how can we stand? So we got to make sure that we are doing what he called us to do. So we want him to have his own ways in our life. Let us bow for prayer. That kind of grace and Father, I thank you, thank you, thank you for this day, Father. I thank you, Father, that you have stopped the rain for just a little bit, Father, and we just thank you and give you all the praise, honor, and glory, Father, because you know what we need, Father. So what, right now, Father, we ask you that you will give us the power to live the life that you want us to live. You want us to live a holy, spotless life, Father. So we ask you, Father, to have your own way in our life. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Okay, my brothers, my sisters, see you tomorrow for part two of the need of the gospel. Until then, be blessed and talk, take care.